Hey guys, this is Malevin, and today we're going to be starting a new playthrough series on a fantastic mod pack called Serenity Farms Pack 01. We're going to be doing most of the playthrough in multiplayer, but I do want to show you how to start using the same seed I'm using in single player so that you can get an idea of how to do it if you wanted to play along. So in single player mode, I do have a new world already created with the same seed, but I'll show you basically how I did it. I created, clicked on create new world, made sure that allow cheats is turned off. Everything else is pretty much the defaults on this screen. Then I went to more options, made sure that my bonus chest was off and typed in my seed. I'll add this seed to the bottom in the description as well so that you can see it down there. I'm going to create another new world which is going to basically use this seed. And in a few seconds, we should start in a new world with the seed. Now, this is a great mod pack because it's very light. It has uh, not a lot of things that take forever to load. You can see that it's loading pretty quick already. As well, it has a complete quest book to take you through all of the mods. So for people who are new to modded Minecraft, this is a great one. For people who are used to modded Minecraft, it's kind of cool because it's in version 1.16.5, which as of today, February 14th of 2021, is the most recent version. So you can see as we started up, we had several tasks completed already because we started in the plains and we got a quest book given to us. And this is basically the same place that we're going to be starting on our multi-world server in just a few seconds. But that shows you what the opening screen looks like as you get started. So we have the one probe, which makes things a little bit easier to see on our screen. And we have a quest book that was given to us so that um, we can see our quest. So I'll go ahead and open up the quest book really quick. Um, it does start right here in the middle of the quest page. I'm going to zoom out just a little bit and scroll over to the side. This is the area of the quest that it just said we completed, which says, thank you. Thank you for playing my pack. Hope you all have as much fun playing it as I did creating it. So this is our uh, wonderful pack. You do notice that there are some checkboxes up here. We're going to go ahead and switch over to the multiplayer world, however, and show you what that looks like. So we'll go ahead and get out of this. As I mentioned, I'll save that seed down at the bottom in the description so that you can cut and paste it into your own world if you like, or you can just grab it off the screen that you just saw. So we're going to be playing in a multiplayer server, and I'm going to join that server. Now, of course, if you're playing on a multiplayer server, it doesn't create the world because the world is already created on the server. I did use the same seed on the server, so that's the one that we will, the world that we should get when we log in here. And it should be in approximately the same spot. It might be a few pieces off. There we go. So we're in roughly the same spot. You can see that the train looks um, about the same on our quest book you see is exactly the same quest book on both. We have the thank you quest, which basically says thank you for playing my pack. And of course it did reward us a quest book when we first started playing. A couple of interesting things about this. First off, as I mentioned before, we do have mine together. So there are two tabs for talking and we'll see that in just a second. I'll show you what it looks like. Commands and mine together. Commands is on your local server, whether you're playing on by yourself or you're playing with other people in a multiplayer. And then there's also the mine together tab, which has a lot of real people. When I first started playing this, I thought, oh my gosh, look at all these fake people. This is some really excellent Turing uh, test being done here. But in reality, it really is a whole bunch of people. It is moderated. So it should be more or less safe for children as long as the moderators are online. We'll go ahead and just indicate that we've read this by clicking on the check mark with the leftmost mouse button. There's no reward for doing that. It just tells us, hey, that's kind of what's going on. This one here tells us that we have Ultimine loaded. 
This means that when we hold down the back tick or grav key when harvesting blocks or shift in the grav key and scroll to get some different shapes. I'll show you kind of what that looks like in a couple minutes as well. And the third thing here says, if you're having trouble unlocking a quest, make sure you have created all of the items that are needed for that quest's recipes first. Getting on towards nighttime, I can hear the, uh, the dark getting started, hear the crickets going. So I'm going to get some um, blocks here really quick. I shouldn't have messed around quite so long with the quests. I don't want to get caught out here in dark. So we'll go ahead and mine up some things really quick. Oh, there's a mystical flower. That'll be nice. That's a quest completed. I got some arbor green. I got some, um, a lot of different things are picking up here really quick. So that's really actually kind of nice because there's going to be some torches that we're going to get from that, which is going to kind of help us through this first night a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and get up here on top of this area right here, maybe cut some more blocks. It is getting on towards dark here pretty quick. And I just want to get a two block area around the outside of something that I can make too high as rapidly as possible. So let's get a couple blocks here. We're just trying to get through the first night. first night, as I mentioned, without dying too much. And then we can look at this quest book in a little bit more detail and see what's going on. All right, so got me some stuff here. I'm going to hold down the Grav key, and you'll notice that it highlights several blocks, in this case, grass blocks, on top of where I am. Those mean That means that it's going to cut down all of those when I cut it down. I have about 35 dirt. Hopefully that'll be enough to get me a too high um, area around where I'm standing right now. Very oddly shaped, but at least it'll get me going. Now I'll go back to my quest book. And, oh my gosh, the dirt didn't do me anything because actually I needed to gather some logs before I can do just about anything else. Although I did get a couple of quests up here. Here's one called Mystical Flowers. Gather at least one mystical flower of any type to get started learning about botany. Well, that's pretty good. And I get some experience for that. I'll go ahead and left click on the experience right there and that gets me some experience. So I'll zoom out a little bit. There is several tabs down the side here. Reap what you sow. Also has some uh, quests in it. This is one for gathering some wheat. This is one for gathering some aubergine. I'm not sure how you pronounce that. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that correctly. Um, lots of other quests, and we can click on those to see what they are. In animal husbandry, there's a lot of different quests um, for dealing with animals and dealing with some basic foods from animals. Uh, we have a complete botany section that starts up here with this one that we just finished, gather a mystical flower in the world. And then we need to create a lexica botania to move further into that section. All that glitters is a section on mining. So there's a lot of details in here on how to mine. Now you'll notice that we kind of take you through simple ore processing, better ore processing, doubling your ore processing, tripling your ore processing, quadrupling your ore processing, and quintupling your ore processing. So it actually takes you through everything. I'll come back to this colonize tab in just a second. The Energize tab is very similar. This takes you through all of the power generation features in this mod pack. Automation takes you through all of the automation features in the mod pack. Storage takes you through a lot of different storage area things, things like chests and storage, uh, advanced storage chests and so on. And then our machinery section takes you through how to do all of the different machinery items. So we're going to go back here to the first tab. And we see that one of the first things we have to do after doing this is either mining 32 cobblestone or punching some wood, gathering 32 logs. And there would be a torch if we'd actually gathered any wood before it got dark, but we didn't. So we'll need to gather some wood before we can do much of anything. Now, before I go too far, I do want to mention there's a couple of nice handy mods loaded. I'm going to press the F7 key. Most people may be familiar with this from other some other mods, uh, other mod packs. And what it shows is these little uh, hatch marks on the ground, either yellow or red. Yellow indicating that mobs could spawn here at nighttime if you're outside of the proper range. 
red indicating that mobs can spawn there at any time. So that does give you some good information about areas that you need to light up. So that's really helpful. And then I'm going to hold the F3 key down, actually F3 and G, and that shows you the chunk boundaries. So that'll come in handy later, especially as we're laying things out uh, for lighting and so on. So both of those are really handy. We'll talk about them more a little bit later on. So we really didn't have time because I was talking about the quest book to get any much done about wood, but there's not any creatures over here, so I could probably go over there and grab at least that tree. So I'm going to try to do that real quick. Uh, that one's got a bee nest under it. I don't think it takes the bee nest down if we just grab these blocks. Oh, I hear them humming. They're not real happy about me being here. It looks like they've already gathered quite a bit of honey. So we'll go ahead and get this knocked down. We'll come back and plant some more trees here later with some saplings. And you notice the leaves are already gone. Let's see if we can find another tree or two real quick. Uh, was something creeping over there? Uh, yep, creeper. Let's move away. Ah, run away, run away. Nope, he fuss saw me. Okay, he's gone. Let's see if we can get over here without finding any creepers. These, this dark oak is wonderful stuff because there's a lot of wood in a tree with dark oak. And it's really pretty, the tree itself. I really like the way that the trees look. So we'll go ahead and grab some wood here real quick. And we'll move up in the tree a little bit. The only problem with dark oak is, is that it does go around. Oh, I hear a zombie. Let's hit him with a stick. Yeah, that's a useful tool. <laughs> so I stayed where I was until it was daylight. There's one. And we got Monster Hunter. We are close to dying. I hope we get some apples out of this tree. Yeah, not yet. All right, let's see what we can do here. Good night, Paul Snow. None yet. All right, so. Here's some other critter. There's a sheep. Oh, oh, there's a skeleton. Daylight's coming pretty quick, though. The moon's going down, so we're not too far. The sun's coming up over there. Let's get some more of this wood real quick. So we'll get some wood here and then we'll make some uh, wood, we'll make a craft bench and then we'll get started on some wooden tools. Get us some planks and make a crafting table. And from that, we can start off with probably an axe. Good first tool. As long as we're at it, let's make a shovel and a pick. and a sword. Okay, now let's cut that rest of this tree down. So 
is a really fun pack. It's got a lot of neat features. The Ultimine is a really handy feature. There's an apple. The only problem with Ultimine is, is that what it happens tends to happen is, is when you mine things with, for example, an axe, we can mine that entire tree, but you'll notice it took my health down quite a bit. And now I've got that punch of wood completed. So I'll go ahead and do that to another tree, but look what happens to my health, and we go through those axes really, really fast. So I'm going to come back over here to this little area that I built. And we're going to set down our workbench. Not real pretty yet. We'll make it really pretty as we go. And there's another axe. And won't get us quite up to full, but we'll get a little bit better. Got to be careful with that ulti mine because at this stage of the game, unless you get a lot of apples, there's one. Gonna collect up all these saplings because we'll need a ton of this wood later. To actually use the tools if we don't want to, but it does take considerably longer to walk through them to bust that with just that tool. Let's get some different types of woods here so we can get some more apples, get some mushrooms, and that looks dangerous. Some of these oak trees should have some apples in them. Uh, oh, no apples. Nope, I got three apples. Okay. So that'll let me get my health back up a little bit. Well, I'm, and that will let me do some basic building. So, as I mentioned, this is a really cool mod pack. It's a lot of neat features to it, a lot of the fun stuff. We need to go ahead and get some food going as well, get some basic, um, like, wheat. Looks like there's some water over here. There's some more of those white mystical flowers. So, let's go ahead and get some wheat growing. Some flowers. Let's see. I oh, want those two back right there. I don't know if they actually use those flowers or not. We'll find out. All right, now we're going to need a hoe. Maybe a couple of those, actually. is usually my first priority because I don't like to die to hunger so we will definitely get some food going here right now and we've got plenty of wheat we can start aubergine's really good too for this first night and we're getting some quests done as we're doing this because there are some quests for some basic planting um, and we'll go ahead and lay out some aubergine too 
this is a really nice vegetable that has a lot of neat features to it. Some cool stuff we can do with it later. And that is all of our seeds. So that's all the planting we can do. All right. Now at some point, I'm going to want a mine because <clears throat> we're going to want some cobble. And you remember, punch wood was one of the first quests that we had. So we finished punch wood, which got us a torch. Yay! Because we had 32 logs of any type. And we had some uh, dark oak as well as smoke in there. We'll go ahead and collect that torch. That'll help us light things up a little bit. And we have another quest we finished. Actually, two more quests. Look at that. Wooden axe. Hey, there's a torch for that. We'll go ahead and collect that as well. And we had a wooden hoe. And we had a quest for that. The wooden sword. Um, did we not make a wooden sword? I thought we did. Maybe it didn't include... Yeah, it's just a regular wooden sword. We have it right there. Oh, wait. Was there a prerequisite? No, we did the prerequisite. So, I don't know. And a wooden shovel. I thought we did that one too. We'll have to find out here in a second. And we need to collect 32 apples. It looks like we've gotten three of our 32 apples, so we're on our way there a little bit. So, we got some food coming, and we got some torches, and we can start laying some stuff out. So, all right, so it's getting on towards night. We need to get our place lit up a little bit. We do have some torches here, so let's go ahead and put a couple of them out. We'll do there, uh, maybe there, maybe over here. And we'll try to uh, get ourselves in here where nobody can grab us. Don't want any creepy crawlies getting into us tonight. All right, so that having been done, we can maybe get a chest because we are starting to get a few things here. So let's get a chest put together. And right there. And we're going to definitely need to hold on to these saplings for later. Uh, we can actually use that oak for our building because we're going to use a lot of dark oak later when we get into colonization a little bit. Uh, don't really need to hold on to that. I can stick that up there, and I don't want to mistakenly eat that, so I'll stick that up there. Gosh, I can't remember how to make mushroom soup. How do you make mushroom soup? Is that just a bowl and two mushrooms? Oh, man, look at that. Look how lucky we were there. All right, so let's grab some of those mushrooms. And we'll make a bowl or two. There's four bowls and some mushrooms. And there's plenty of mushrooms around, so we'll go ahead and take some of those up. And we'll get our health back up. That'll be awesome. Okay. Now, we can definitely get ourselves um, another wooden axe. And, because I like to just make sure I've got plenty of tools. And let's get another pick as well, because we're going to go ahead and start into the ground here a little bit. Oh, quest completed, wooden pickaxe. So I don't know why that didn't get completed earlier, but we do have it completed now. So there's wooden pickaxe, got another torch, yay. And did we get the, oh, that was that one there. That's what it was, sorry, wrong one. Let's try making another sword. Maybe there was something wrong with the sword. Maybe because I was making them in quick uh, succession, maybe? And the sword, yep, that did it. I don't need to be carrying around two of them. And then what was the other quest? Was a wooden shovel. It's a wooden sword. Get our torch. We got a wooden shovel. So let's get a wooden shovel. That's like this. There we go. Quest completed wooden shovel. Look at that. We don't mind carrying extra shovels because we probably will use extra shovels. All right. Let's get rid of all of that. We got a couple of torches. We could go ahead and start a little bit of a mine. I'm going to come back over here and I'll expand this later. But for right now, let's dig out this dirt.
There's a lot of way of playing, a lot of ways of playing Minecraft. You guys may have a different way that you like, differently from what I'm doing here. That's perfectly fine. What I'm basically trying to do at this point is get down here where I can get some of this cobble. I need to put together eight cobble, at least eight to build myself a furnace so I can make some charcoal so we can have some more torches. Yay, Stone Age. I'm out of the Wood Age. Yes, I do know Ultimine would allow me to do this a little more quickly. Um, I usually try to do a torch, however, every two. And I'm going to go ahead and expand this over here to the side a little bit later. Um, so let's do put one there, one, two, one there. And we can just check. I'll hit F7 key so I can see what's going on. When we start getting to where we, there was a red spot right there. Showed up for just a split second. There we go. They hear water. They hear water. Water down there somewhere. All right. So now we've got enough to get a furnace going. And quest completed. Let's get cooking. So we probably ought to take a look at the quest book and see what else we've got in here that we need to be kind of working on. So we got our chest for where you're going to put your stuff. I got us some more torches. Yay. Torches are awesome. The wooden shovel, we got a torch for that. And then we got our 32 cobblestone, which eight torches. Wow, that's phenomenal. That'll come in handy. And then let's get cooking. We got, oh my gosh, we got some charcoal. So that's cool because that means that we can make some more torches if we need to, or we can cook some things. So that aubergine that's over there growing right now, you can just barely see it over the top of uh, uh, over there in the middle. That's not grown very far, but aubergine does have a really nice vegetable that comes out of it look we got a question reap what you sow as well so let's take a look in here so we got some wheat seeds break some grass until you get some seeds one is good more is better um, we could do bread but to make bread if i remember correctly we need wheat a loaf of freshly baked bread so satisfying in so many varieties use a hoe on some ground near water plant some seeds and see what happens with time Ooh, that looks interesting so that's growing. And then we've got the arborgreen. Break more grass. Arborgreen seeds are easy to come by. So we got some of those and we planted them. Now we're trying to get some arborgreen in the ground and wait for it to mature, then harvest the vegetable. So looking forward to that. Oop. Something creepy. Here's something out there. I don't see it, but I hear something creepy. Uh. Someplace there's a something. I don't know where it is. It's almost daylight. Where are you? Where are you? I hear you. I hear you somewhere. Oh, there he is. Ah, it's a little zombie. It's a baby zombie. Hit it. Kill it. Ooh. Come back over here. Oh, he's so cute. Yeah, I'm still going to kill it. Yay. All right. And he didn't drop anything. Oh, well. We do have some more torches, so we can go down a little further. And again, I'm going to do these torches every two. I do hear water. So, one empty, two empty, and we're going to put a torch right there. And we'll grab a couple more of these. And then we'll take a look at the quest book once we get down here just a little bit further. I'd like to see where that water's coming from. Oh, 
Oh, that's what we need right there. Iron. Um, so, but I need a cobblestone pick to get that. So, this is one of those handy mod packs I really like because it tells you whether you can mine one, two, empty, and I'm going to put a torch right there. I'll go ahead and put it there now. Whoops. Go ahead and put it there now. And we'll go make a pickaxe. This says it needs a level iron pickaxe in order to mine up that iron. So we're going to need a little bit better pick. All right, so we've got some daylight going on here. Let's grab this. And we will take, get some more sticks. And then we will create a cobble pick. Let's go ahead and do two. Task completed, stone pickaxe. All right, let's go move things around here just a little bit. And we'll put our getting an upgrade. Yay! Don't know what I upgraded, but that's cool. Let's see what we upgraded. Nothing. Oh, yeah, the mushroom soup. I forgot about that. We got experience for that because we made mushroom soup. So 10 experience, that's handy. So we're up to level four already. Look at that, level four. I'm going to turn off the light meter. And we'll go back down here and see what else we've got going on. So we need a minor upgrades. We got one of those. It looks like we need to upgrade everything to stone, really, to get this one. Oh, and we get a lantern for that. That'll be cool. All right, so we got a little bit more work to do there. And then this thing over here is kind of interesting. We'll come back to that probably in our next episode. I don't know that we're going to have time to get to it tonight. And there's an iron pack, so that's cool. Oh, and diamonds. It jumps straight from that to diamonds. All right, so let's go see if we've done anything else. I don't think so. I don't see that anything else has anything completed on it. So it's daylight. During the daylight, I really like to get some stuff done up here. I want to have a little bit more level land. And um, I need to check on my fruits and veggies over there. So let's go check on that real quick. Yeah, nothing really going too far yet. We're going to definitely need some more farmland here in a little while. So we'll go ahead and clear some of this out. And I'm going to want some level land. I'm not going to want all this stuff right here. So we can definitely clear some of this off. Um, the reason I'm going to want the level land is because we're going to need to build some structures here in a minute. And these particular structures that I need to build are going to take a fairly large area of level land. That's what the colonized thing is for. So we're going to just kind of prep for that a little bit by getting rid of some of this land. Some of this dirt. And we're going to need some more wood. And Oh my goodness, we're going to need so many things. I really wish those plants would grow though so I could get some more food going. Mushroom stew is good though for the meantime. All right, let's store some of this stuff away. Oh, I got another wheat. Do we have another? Um, oh, no. So let's go ahead and create a hoe. That's the cobblestone ones. So that'll hopefully get us one more step we needed on our way there. Yep, stone hoe is completed. And let's go ahead and get a shovel, too, because we don't have any shovels right now. And we'll get a stone shovel. Yay, stone shovel. And we'll go ahead and clear off a little bit more of this land over here, and we'll plant that wheat so it can start growing. Yeah, stone is just so much better than wood. Oh my gosh, it goes through this dirt so fast. And um, oop, there you go. Don't want to hop on our land over there, though. We'll go back about five so that we've got uh, about five deep from the water um, that way we can uh, one two three four five go back one more here that way we can work around the edge and not be hopping down onto our farmland um, that'll break it make it not farmland it'll go back to dirt and that's no good all right so we'll go this way a little bit Pretty good size space, and we don't. We got a couple more seeds here we can plant. So 
go ahead and get those in the ground. Really want to get some some farming going here pretty quick. Okay. Ooh, and there's some more of those mystical flowers. Those are magenta. Magenta makes really pretty dye for all kinds of things. Now, one of the things we do want to do too, pretty quick here, is get a um, bed. I would sure love to get a bed tonight. So let's go over here. Ooh, there's some blue ones too. Let's go here and oh, oh my gosh! I did not know that was here in the seed. That is so cool. That is a waystone. So we'll leave it for right there for right now. And remember, it's over here. Actually, you know what? Let me stick a torch right there, <laughs> just so I can find it. Uh, we'll grab some more seeds and um, let's go cut down some of this birch over here. Go ahead and use Ultimine to cut through the whole tree at once. Man, that takes the big chunk out of the durability on our axe, though. And um, this mod pack has fast leaf decay. So the leaves go down pretty quick. And really what we're trying to get to at this point is something else called a silkworm. We're trying to get a silkworm started. Find a silkworm in some of these trees. And I'm not seeing any, which is odd, because normally... Oh, look at that. What is that? It's a sprout. Oh, my gosh. Hey, little guy. You're so cool. All right. Um, maybe those only fall out of oak trees? I don't see any more oak trees. We should have planted some. That would have made a big difference. Uh, let's. There's a couple over here. Let's go knock down some of these oak trees. Yeah, there's one. Cut down some more birch. We need a lot of wood because we're going to be building a whole colony out here later. Um, still no. None of the little guys I was hoping to get. Got a lot of apples though. Three apples. That's quite a bit more than we had. Lots of saplings, dark oak. Let's cut down some of these. Man, it takes forever when you're trying to cut down a tree with a sapling. That just makes like zero sense. Okay. Whew, that was big. That took a chunk out of my a big chunk out of my um, health. All right, we're getting some lots of seeds here to plant. Really, is what I'm trying to do at this point is get some seeds going and to let me get a little bit more plant planting going on. And we'll come out to five on this side as well. Back there. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. And it broke. Three, four. One, two, three, four. All right. So now we're going to pull out some more of these seeds that we had here. Wheat's pretty easy. Um, get your bread pretty quick. Bread's a nice staple. Two, three, four. This is really oddly shaped. I'm not doing any squares here, so I'm not really sure how far back this land's going to irrigate. At least that far. Might go to there. Let's see. All right. Now we'll do some planting. And 
and we're out of those. Let's get some of the aubergine down. And that's it for this. And the sun is, was, is that west? That is west. The sun is gone. And that was daylight. Close up our little cubby hole here. Oops, went in too far back. All right, good day's collection. Get some of this stuff put away. And a site. Hey, that's good stuff. And we got some mystical flowers, more saplings. I should have planted those oak saplings. Can I plant those? Can I stretch? How far out can I stretch? Ooh, I can get all the way out to there. fall off here. I don't want to have to hopefully these will grow up by tomorrow. Probably not. But they'll grow up pretty quick and then I can get out there and harvest them. And hopefully we're gonna get some silk worm eggs out of all of this. Okay. So that's oak. Rest of this stuff away. Okay. So now we're getting to the point where we could probably go ahead and create another chest. We got plenty of wood, so let's go ahead and get another chest going. And we're going to start separating stuff out a little bit. I do like to keep things kind of organized. So we're going to go ahead and put like things like dirt and rock that we're not using over here. Just keep all of our like wood and stuff that we are using on an ongoing basis. All right, now we still don't have any major torches, so let's. One way of making charcoal is to basically cook logs, and I don't have um, the thing in here to tell us what you can't see how many, what, how much burn time you have on these. So that's not in this mod pack, which is kind of unfortunate. So let's get our health. This is uh, pretty low. And let's go back down here and dig out a little bit further. Did we make? Yeah, we made that. All right, so let's get this iron. Yeah, not only do I hear a water, I also hear something moaning. So someplace there's a zombie down here. I guess we could see if it's off to one side. Not that direction. Let's try this side. Of course, it could always be behind us. Not, not there. Let's keep going. up that wooden first, don't we? Alright, let's see. Did I miss a... Yeah, I did. Look at that right there. I missed it. I thought that was getting a little close. So, I have a set distance I usually use for these because I usually come back and put in like... Oh, look at that. Sort of scorts. Let's get that puppy out of there too. That was right next to the iron, wasn't it? Alright, 
So those, that's where it should be. One, two, that's where the torque should be. All right. Torch. There it is. That was probably a mistake. There's some water there. I am not really ready. Spider. It's that F7 key we talked about. Okay, light that baby up a little bit. So there's some uranium. We'll need that later. I don't need to write this instant, but I sure would like to have that iron. So let's see if we can't get that out. Now I'm going to go ahead and use Ultimine here just so I don't spend a lot of time. And that's lit up. That's too far down for anything to grab us. There's some more iron. Let's see if we can grab that. Mine some more. What was that? Okay, so I have a problem here. some stairs later so we found that running water man that's noisy oh there's a bad guy there's a skeleton yeah i don't want him to look at me over here Got some of that dirt yep you saw me see me. Alright. So let's cook up some of this iron real quick. Let's see if we can't upgrade our gear a little bit. Oh, there's that skeleton. Man, he really wants me. As long as he doesn't go over there, I'll be okay. If he goes over there, he's going to be able to spot me. All right, while that's cooking, let's put uh, clearing out some more of our inventory here. We'll have a special spot for the, that mod later. That's for Applied Energistics. That's a lot of fun. I wonder if that opened up any quests, though. Let's take a look here real quick. Did that open up any quests? There's one thing. Oh, all the glitters. There we go. Mine some more. There's a lot of ore under the ground. Find 16 raw ore and we will get started. That's because we had more than 16 iron. That's cool. But you could have used any ore for that. Ooh, we got two levels of experience. So that'll take us from what level are we now before we grab that? Let me see. We're level five. So when we grab that, that'll move us up to level seven. Yay. So now we're level seven. Now we can hold on to that. There comes the sun. We can hold on to that till later if we want. Let's take some of this out. And we can make a pair of boots. And that's actually going to be enough stuff to make quite a few things. So we can make a pair of pants. There's some iron leggings. Let's get those on. That'll help quite a bit. Uh, we'll make some boots. And we should be able to make at least a chest piece. We can also do a shield. one piece of iron with some wood. So we should be able to get some wood out here. And we'll use dark oak for that, I guess. 
So that was one there. One, two, three, four, five, six. So that makes a shield. Let me show something here really quick, though. See that? Put it back if you just exit out. The shield, there's this little plus sign right here, which will actually just take those items and move it in. So this is JEI. These are all the different ways. Crafting table, formulaic assemblicator, robot, crafting pad, manufactory halo, assembly halo. These are all the ways of making that recipe. Um, you can do other things with, um, a sh with that shield as well. For example, you could craft it in an anvil to repair it, and you can get them from villagers as well. So a level 3 armorer villager, you give them 5 emeralds, and they'll give you a shield as well. So there's all kinds of ways of getting that shield. Right now, though, we're just going to craft one on a crafting table. When I click on Move Items here, that's going to take the items out of my inventory and put them into the crafting table. So let me show that again. Here's the crafting table. Nothing in it. I've got it open. Click on the shield, this, which is what I want to make. Click on Move Items, and that moves the items out of my inventory and puts them straight up there so that I can make my shield. So we'll go ahead and equip that shield. And we'll grab the rest of that iron and make at least a shirt. And that makes a shirt for us. So now we got shirt and pants. That's a little bit better. So, got a little bit of stuff going on. All right. So that is a good first few minutes starting and getting stuff laid out. We'll uh, go ahead and I'm going to be doing some mining. And that shield is going to be right in my way, my visual way. So I'm going to put it away for right now. But I'll come back and grab that later before we go adventuring to make sure that those skeletons don't grab me. All right, guys, that's going to be it for our first episode. We've got um, a little bit of things set up. We've got a crafting table. we got a furnace. we got a couple of chests. We've started getting a little bit of organization. Got a couple of different mods going on here. We've got uh, some Batania, and we've got some food growing back there in the back. Let's see. Oh, that wheat looks like it's almost ready. And uh, next episode, we'll probably grab that food and dig down in the mine a little bit deeper and maybe start laying out a couple of buildings in here. So, thank you guys for coming with us. This is the Serenity Farms Pack 01 and our first episode of a playthrough. You guys have an awesome time. We'll see you next time around.